Hi there, and in this video, I want to discuss the main differences between Red Dot and Blasium, which are the two main Godot forks right now. And you may think, okay, why all these Godot forks have uh, been appearing lately? Uh, why all this controversy? So I quite quickly want to address it over again. So basically, lately they're having lots of problems in the Godot community. Basically, lots of people that were saying that the Godot developers were not paying attention to what the community was asking in terms of features uh, and also because there were some political statements and uh, Twitter posts. So uh, lots of maybe small or medium or even for some people big stuff that uh, basically um, made people create Godot forks which are basically copies of the engine um, but managed by uh, other people so they can add their own stuff they can manage their community as they want etc and the, the two main ones are Blasium and Redot. So in this video, we are going to be comparing them both a little bit and also at the end I want to talk a little bit Red Dot, Blasium and Godot itself, okay? So we have the full picture of all this discussion. First of all, what we have to know is that the biggest Godot fork right now is Red Dot. It's the one that has the most contributors, the biggest community in Twitter, etc. The biggest Discord server, etc. Um, and it's also far as I know, the only fork that has um the an official version uh, released okay by their own so if we go here to all the posts that they have over here for example here they have red dot engine 4.3 is now stable in which well uh, they release some unique stuff uh, of them okay of their own and not only that but they are also in a uh, alpha um, stage of 4.3.1 so as you can see, it's kind of the most active fork, the one that has the most contributors, etc. And the one, the one that for most people seems to be the most promising because of all these things. Now, on the other hand, Blasium, okay, is in reality a fork of, let's say, a fork of Godot and a fork of Redot at the same time because it was actually made by the developers of Redot. And once again, there is a lot of controversy between what happened in the inside of Red Dot's team uh, to make uh, developers of Red Dot actually create their own fork. There are, as usual, two versions of the same story. Uh, so I am not going to be digging deeper into that. But what you have to know is that we have firstly Godot. Then we have a, a fork of Godot, which is a Red Dot. Then that Red Dot was divided into two. Blasium, okay, and uh, other people just continued in Red Dot. But still, most contributors and the most people they are in Red Dot, okay? So, well, also the Blasium website, actually, both of them look amazing, at least for me. Um, so, well, this is the one uh, that, that is over here. Now, what you have to know, for example, uh, th there is no official release as we had in Red Dot. Once again, this is due to the fact that there are much more developers in Red Dot than in Blasium. Uh, we are still in the process of testing and polishing for the first release. This first release, I believe it shouldn't take too much time to be released. I believe that, well, within the next weeks, that something should be, okay, judging by what has been posted in their Twitter account, by what has been going on on their Discord server, etc. So, well, um, even though there is some information, for example, here, what is Blasium, uh, some of the stuff uh, related to the goals of the project, they also want to offer unique tools and services, such as a tool that is going to allow you to create multiplayer games a little bit easier. But well, right now, there is no such difference be or, or big difference between Red Dot and Vlasium, okay, in terms of features. Because even though Red Dot does have its own uh, official version, its own betas, whatever, they are still super similar to each other. Um, actually, not to each other, but similar to Godot itself. Because there are some enhancements and physics, but they are super tiny or they are more tailored to the more advanced uh, developer, okay? And not for the general user. For example, here, this is something that you may use at some point in your life. Scaling multiple nodes at, at once is now possible, but how many times did you actually want to scale multiple nodes at the same time? This is not something that will take advantage a uh, lot of times. Also, something small that they added um, was basically, for example, here, where is the official release? Uh, here, it's now stable. So, from here, the possibility of also changing the horizon color. Once again, I don't want to discourage the work that has been done because it's amazing the fact that um, they have been able to do all this 
like for completely from scratch in a matter of a few weeks or months. So that's something amazing, of course, and to be proud of, really. But well, it is not, of course, it is not a game to create an engine, to manage a community, to always be releasing new stuff. It is not something easy. And if we compare it to what Godot is doing itself, we can see that every, I don't know, four or five days we get a new release, new stuff, whatever. Of course, once again, Godot is not, cannot be compared with Blasphemy Predator or any other fork. Because in Godot, there is the most number of, of contributors, the most amount of money as well, and general resources. Uh, but here, if we are talking about the facts, about what, what you can use, okay, for your own games, of course, Godot will still probably be the best option unless you you have a, let's call them personal problems with their community management um, and, and let's say visions okay but if those things are not a problem for you why would you switch to these engines uh, or, or why even would you care about them at all so that's just for you to know if you don't have like a moral personal ideal problem or however you want to call it with Godot um, you can just use it because, for example, also another stuff is the fact that Godot 4.4 was released just as you can see a couple of days ago. And well, Blasium doesn't even have an official version, and Red Dot is still in 4.3.1 alpha. Okay, so in reality, if you download Red Dot right now, for example, you won't have any of the amazing new features that Godot 4.4 provides. So I just want to sum up all the information because I think that it could have been too much. The, the first thing I have to know is that the main Godot fork right now is Red Dot, okay? And with a couple of weeks, or as Red Dot was being developed, there were some um, uh, some differences between uh, the different team members of Red Dot, which for different reasons, and as always, uh, there are different versions of the story. Um, well, basically, some team members of Red Dot, then uh, they completely left Red Dot and created their own fork, Blasium. Blasium does not have a stable version right now or a first release or wherever, okay? We just have their web page and, and some stuff over here, which is amazing once again, but we don't have nothing that we can actually kind of see or use, at least here at the web page in the first place. And in Red Dot, at least we did have the uh, official version, Red Dot Engine 4.3, and they are even in 4.3.1 in the alpha, which was released uh, something like one month ago. So they are probably still working on releasing more versions. But neither of them, okay, is in 4.4. So if you try to use them right now, you won't be able to access any of the amazing new features introduced in Go to 4.4. So if you don't have any kind of moral, idealistic problem, uh, whatever it is with Go to, well, probably the best thing would be to just use it, I would say, because it has the most number of developers, the most number of updates, uh, the most amount of money, etc. So well, I just wanted to clarify these things. Um, in spite of all this, as usual, whenever there is a new Godot version, whenever there is a, something related to Blasium, something related to Red Dot, I am always going to be posting it over here. So if you're really interested in this topic, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel because I am one of the few uh, YouTubers that actually cover these topics. Okay, so, so I would really consider subscribing. So see you in the next one and bye bye.